we're going to look at the product of two binomials. We have a product of two binomials. Why is it a product? Well, we've got two things that are multiplied together, right? And that's what a product is. Um, and a binomial? Well, this is a binomial because it's got two terms. This is a binomial because it's got two terms. And we're multiplying them together. So we've got a product of two binomials. OK, how do we do it? The important thing is it's this whole bracket is multiplied by this whole bracket. So we must make sure everything in here multiplies with everything in there. And the best way to do that is to actually put in arrows before you start. So we need this 2x to multiply with everything in the second bracket. So it needs to multiply with the 3x, but it also needs to multiply with the minus 5. And then we go on to the other term, which is 4, and it needs to multiply with everything in the second bracket. So it needs to multiply with the 3x, but also with the minus 5. Now we can go ahead and do that multiplying. 2x times 3x, starting with the red ones, is going to give me 6x squared. Then I go on to the greens. That's going to be 2x times minus 5, which is minus 10x. Then I go on to the whites, 4 times 3x, which is 12x. And then I go on to the blue, minus 5 times 4 is minus 20. And now I just sort this out. 6x squared doesn't have any term to go with. 12x and minus 10x are like terms, so I'm going to combine them to get 2x. And that is my answer. Some people like to use this little acronym FOIL to remember to multiply everything. Uh, what FOIL stands for is first, so you multiply the first two terms together, then outsides, the outside terms together, I, the inside terms together, and L, the last terms together. If that helps you, use it. I often just find as long as I put the brack, I mean the arrows in that show me everything, this must multiply with everything there, and then this must multiply with everything there, I don't forget terms. One more quick example. This one I just want to point out, an important thing which we've discussed before. When you notice that you're going to have to, when you've got a, a negative, put some bright sign around it so that you don't forget it. I'll show you why. We're going to multiply out in the same way, so I'm first going to put all my arrows in as before. No problem with the first, let's do the reds. 2x times 3x, which is 6x squared. 6x squared. Then let's do the outers, which um, is the green, right? 2x multiplied by negative 5, and that's going to give me negative 10x. Now we're going to go and multiply this thing here with everything in the second bracket. It is very important, which is why I've put that big circle around it, to remember it's a negative 4 that is multiplying with everything in the second bracket. So when we do the whites, we're going to have negative 4 multiplied by 3x, and that is going to give me negative 12x. And then I'm going to do the blues, which is going to be negative 4 multiplied by negative 5, and that is going to give me positive 20. And then again, I sort it out as before combining our like terms. Negative 10x subtract 12x is going to give me negative 22x and then plus 20.